In this video, I've got a tip on copying text using voiceover and a three finger quadruple tap. What's up VIPs? Welcome to Life After Sight Loss TV, the place to help you discover life after sight loss. My name is Derek and if you're new around here and want to learn more about living your life to the fullest as a visually impaired person or a sighted supporter, well go ahead and get started by subscribing to the channel and ring that bell so you'll get notified of new content each and every week. Today is another installment in VoiceOver 101 and today we're talking about a three finger quadruple tap. Now I actually just learned this myself the other day. I was watching something and somebody did this and I was like, whoa, what the heck was that? I, I didn't know you could do that. So we're always learning new things. So I've got a way to copy text or whatever that voiceover is reading out loud. If it reads it out loud, you can copy it and then paste it somewhere else. So let's go ahead and jump into the iPad and I will show you how to three finger quadruple tap to copy text when using voiceover. All right, so here I am in the iPad and I'm going to copy some text and paste it with the three finger quadruple tap in voiceover. So I'm in this article here in news and it's talking about glaucoma. So if I swipe right, like high blood pressure, glaucoma is a devious disease. It says like high blood pressure, glaucoma is a devious disease. Now let's say I want that and I want to put it somewhere so I can remember it later, whatever the case may be. Whatever voiceover just read, which is like glaucoma, uh, what it is, oh no, like high blood pressure, glaucoma is a devious disease. Whatever just read or said out loud, that's what it's going to copy. So let's three finger quadruple tap. Like high blood pressure, glaucoma is a devious disease. Copy to pasteboard. So you heard it say, repeat everything it read, and then it said copy to pasteboard, or clipboard if you're more familiar with that term. So now we're gonna go over to, let's say notes, and we're gonna paste it in there. So let's go to notes. Notes. Note. Notes. Te notes. Okay. Note, text field, April, note, text field. Is at insertion point at end. Okay, so now I'm gonna paste it in here, and the easiest way to do that, I find, is using the rotor, which I'm going to turn. Misspelled words, characters, words, lines, speaking rate, containers, headings, typing mode, Probably edit. should have went the other way. Edit. edit, there it is. Now once I find edit, I'm going to swipe up and down. Paste. That's the first one I want. Then I find paste, and I double tap with one finger. Like high blood pressure, glaucoma is a devious disease. Body. And. 37 point. Dark gray. Natural alignment. Indentation of okay, zero. great. That's a lot of stuff. Now, I do want to I let that play for just a second because I wanted to tell you something. First of all, I just pasted it in there. We're all good to go. But secondly, I wanted to let you know that it was saying all that stuff out loud. If you let it say all that stuff and then you try to copy, it's going to copy all of that stuff. You know, the alignment, the gray, the whatever it said. It's going to copy all that stuff. So, for example, if you're reading through an article and it says something, and then all of a sudden it says, let's say, swipe up or down for more actions, or uh, swipe to the right for the next article, or whatever, it's going to copy that in the text that it pastes into your note or wherever you paste it. So just be aware of that. Make sure you get the thing you want. But it's real simple, three finger quadruple tap, one, two, three, four, and you kind of have to play around with this because sometimes you'll get the screen curtain, which is three uh, taps with three fingers, but just play around a little bit, um, you know, and just mess with it. But three finger quadruple tap, copy that text, to your clipboard. And there you go, my friends. It's pretty simple to do three finger quadruple tap so that you can copy anything that voiceover is saying. Now, remember, if voiceover says it out loud and then you three finger quadruple tap, it's going to copy everything that voiceover says. So just be aware of that. Many a time I've gotten a tip or a, a hint or something plugged into the text that I wanted to copy. So whatever, you, if you got hints running, then be aware it's probably going to copy those hints, but it's a great quick way to copy some text without having to slide around and that sort of thing. If you don't want the whole paragraph, you might have to work on sliding around, but if you want just a sentence that voiceover spoke out loud, three finger quadruple tap, great way to do it. So my question for you today is this, what is the app of choice that you use 
to paste your text into. Obviously, we copy a lot of text and we want to keep this and keep that, but where do you paste it into? Notes? Evernote? Uh, some other sort of app, uh, mail, where do you paste most of your text? I would love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, well, go ahead and show your support by giving it a big thumbs up and sharing it out with somebody that you know. And like I said, if you're new around here, well, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you'll get notified each and every week. Thanks so much for watching wherever you are. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from Life after sightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one.